Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and it's Monday, another Mindy Monday Madness tutorial, Ink and Wash. Um, we're doing a window uh, with some flowers. I thought it'd be cute to do another window. I haven't done one in a while, so really super simple, fast, and easy. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, please check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos traceables and live streams once a month on the top tier as well as a download from me. You can check it up here in a minute or so. So without further ado, let's get painting. Okay, so I'm going to go with supplies. I have a three inch square of 100% cotton cold pressed paper from Arch. I have my paints here. I go over them as I use them. They're always in the description box. Water jars are up here. Paint brushes I'll be playing with. Uh, Princeton 4, 6, and 8. Uh, long round velvet touch series brush um, just the simple sake I'm just gonna draw this in um, and we're gonna use um, the sharpie pen if I can find my sharpie pen <laughs> oh yeah here it is a sharpie pen I'm gonna use today sorry um, so we're gonna start by drawing in the window yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to use my uh, 2H pencil. So basically, you know, a rectangle shape here. It's kind of light. I don't know if you can see it. If I do it darker, I you can use a 2H pencil, but I have a 2 pencil. Just like a rectangle for to start. And then I'm going to curve up here on the top. I want a curved window. And then we're going to make the shutter. So it's curved again and then straight down curved again and then straight down don't worry too much about the window box itself I mean I can you can just kind of visualize putting the box here basically we're going to put some flowers in here and then for the window itself we're going to have the trim right and then the two the panes all in here One, two three four whatever and then the shutters could be just like this draw down some lines. You can put the bigger piece in the middle. Just like that. Like I said, I'm not going to really have the box. You can see the box per se. You could want, if you want to really see the box, you can, but I'm really going to just paint a lot of flowers. So now we'll take the Sharpie pen. We've drawn that in and then we'll carefully draw in over it. See over there. Get that in here the panes. So now that we drew that then we can actually draw the panes like this. So what's good about using this pen and ink on this paper? It has a rough edge so it doesn't all show. So again, I'm not going to show all the window because I'm going to just kind of draw around these little flowers. See, I'm just kind of sketching in flowers and you can put some leaves just really loose so just like like this wiggle wiggle and then draw in some leaves if you want to draw a little vine coming down that will work too draw in leaves in between here as you know when you have a flower box that's all kind of cascading down and around and up and over kind of drawing like that and then we'll do the shutter like this see line line I get the big one in the middle and then you can draw some of the paints going down put little dots for like nails and depending on what the outside you want it to be like stucco or siding or you can have bricks you can just draw with some bricks some loose looking bricks rectangle bricks you know you could have the bricks going around here just don't get bogged down what it is you can just kind of sketch it in there just sketching in some stuff here and again you can go back in pen and ink just making these little lines here just indicate stone and 
going back in over the windows again just like that voila <laughs> and then we're going to erase that I mean if you want to put little sketch marks like this for shadowing I kind of like that we can fill it in with watercolor so I'm just doing these little I call them like hatch marks see little lines like this and you can crisscross it and you get the window that's how you do like a shadowing for pen and ink if you've never done that before put little nails up here just keeping it really simple this is a really quick and simple tutorial okay then when we have all that ink done we can go back and let it dry for a little sec a couple of seconds so it doesn't bleed and then you can take like a kneaded eraser and just erase all that mess There you go. Now we're going to just work on painting. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going to grab my prints and eight long round. I think the flowers, I want to make them purple. So I have ultramarine blue right here and quinacrylate no magenta. It makes like some really nice, pretty purple. I'm just going to take the brush and just kind of push around with those little blobs that I kind of drew in. Put them here. If you want to grab a more pink tone, you can do that. Or, and if you want to grab more blue, ultramarine, just go in here like that. Voila. See, I'm just kind of pushing that paint around. And then for the greens, I have a peacock blue. Oh, you didn't even see me mix up the blue purples. It's hard to see the image and the paint because it's such a tiny image. And then the obviously the uh, paint is bigger. So I got the yellow and the blue. And varying degrees of green by adding more blue or yellow. I can add a little burnt umber to tone it down a bit, but just gonna push this color just kind of go like this, just kind of, mm, it's a little too dark. A little more yellow. There we go. Just kind of put this color around. If you want to wait till the purple dries, you might want to do that. I think mine's bleeding a little too much that I want, so I'm going to wait till that dries. I'm going to continue on to the, the window. <laughs> um, you can make the shutters any color you want brown, blue, beige, um, look at like a nice turquoise, a turquoise blue, touch a little brown here. So I got the peacock blue, touch of the burnt umber, water that down. And I'm just going to put that color in. Like so. Um, the window itself, again, you can make it browns and blacks. I'm going to use burnt umber. And just go in and fill that in. Make it a little darker. It's watered down, it was lighter. I'm going to fill it in a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. And the outside, you can keep it in the stone color, grays, whatever. I have a, a brick, some gray up here, mixed with some ember. And you can kind of wash. You want like more of a stone kind of color. So I'm just gonna push around some grays, just like this. Like a stone building. And I'm not going to do all the whole P 
piece of paper here. Just going to do around it. Over here. See, and you can add some darker grays. And put some darker gray right next to the shutter here and under here. It's like a shadow. A little bit under here, too. Where the flowers are. This is a quick, easy one, in my opinion. Put a little gray up in here. A little shadow here. On the window. A little dark grays open here. Just kind of mix it around. Um, for the shutters, you want a different tone too. You want to make it a little bit darker, so you just take that same paint that hasn't been watered down. And just kind of go in here. And put in a darker tone. So we might need to peacock blue again and add some burnt umber. So I'm just kind of pushing that paint around. Something here. Da -da. The windows, kind of on the black side, dark gray. And just fill that in. Just like so. So you really didn't need to draw this, the cross hatches. Just like that. And again, if you want to add a little more darker gray tone under the shutter over here on this side just so it stands out a little more do that and underneath the flowers now the flowers here should have dried a little bit and we can go and add our greens again pretty greens because it was bleeding into that purple and it was making mud and we don't want that so I would do the you can either do the greens first or the purples first but wait till each one dries and then go back in and just kind of bleed in your little pretty green color. So we can really bright yellow green. Don't want to get it too muddy. Could put some greens down here. Up in here. Maybe get a little darker. And it's a simple window box. So again, we wait till that dries and if you want to put in the pretty purples. But that's how we're doing our simple window. You just draw that rectangle with a little curve, curve, curve. Go back in. Add some purple. I'm adding some more purple flowers. Maybe up here. Oops. A little more blue. If they got too muddy um, because of the green, a little trick. And if you want to add some bright ones. If you have some gouache, you know me and my white gouache. Just take your white gouache. I have some right here. I'm going to activate it with some water. And you can mix it with a watercolor. See, it's a light purple, but you can still mix it. And add some more blue. And then you can go back in here, right on top of those muddy greens, and add that bright color. Unless they're still wet. Mine seem to be a little bit wet. That bright color in there. It's a little wet. I'm going to just dab with a paper towel. There. I'm going to go back in and put that bright blue, purple right on top of those greens. Add a little more up here. Just playing around at this point, right?
That's the beauty of having the gouache. You know, you can even just grab some white itself. You want to change up just between purple flowers. You want to add different color flowers. Uh, there you go. So, oops, just going to rip up the tape. I, oh, I didn't, didn't mention that I taped this down. I'm sorry. With uh, just a two pieces of scotch tape. All right, so I, you know, peeled off the tape, which was the scotch tape I forgot to mention that I used. Um, I added some more uh, bright green in here to fill it in. And that's that. I mean, you can just tweak it by adding in some even darker, you know, color in here through the window. But pretty much that was it. I mean, like I said, you can add a deeper color gray here, a little bit more in here, just to highlight the shutter. Put some dark down in here too. That's it, guys. That's our mini Monday Madness window floral. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, also, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you have a great Monday. Take care.